good morning students the topic that we will study today is the representation of set a set may be represented in three forms the first is a descriptive form the second is a tabular form and the third is a set builder form we will discuss each of the following forms individually in our lesson students the first form we will discuss now is the descriptive form in this method we describe a set by means of a statement for example the set of numbers in the circle are all even numbers 2 4 6 8 10 12 all these numbers are divisible by 2 so we can express this group of numbers by means of a statement we can write it as set a is a set of first six even numbers we can also write the set as set of even numbers less than or equal to 12 since the numbers are showing us the limit till 12 so we can write the set as a set of even numbers less than or equal to 12 both the statements are accurately defining the set now if we define the set set a is a set of even numbers this statement would be wrong because the set of even numbers is not accurately defining the set it is showing us no limit whereas in this in these group of numbers the limit is up to 12 but in the statement set of even numbers it is telling us that the set is a infinite set which is showing no limit so this statement is wrong so when we are describing a set in the form of a statement we need to see that the statement should accurately define a set now the second example we have here are the letters in this box that are a e i o you now all of you know that these letters represent the set of vowels so we can write it in a, by means of a statement that is set b is a set of vowels so students i hope you have understood the descriptive form in the descriptive form we write the set in a statement form where we accurately define the set the second form we will discuss now is the tabular form the tabular form is also known as the roster form in this method the elements of the set are listed within the pair of curly brackets and are separated by commas so when we write a set in tabular form we list the elements in curly bracket and separate the elements by commas For example the first set A is written in descriptive form that is in form in the form of a statement set A is a set of first 10 natural numbers so if we write this set in tabular form we will actually write the first 10 natural numbers that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 we will list all these elements inside the curly bracket and separate it with a comma now the second set we have here is set b is a set of whole numbers less than or equal to 1000 it's obvious that we cannot list all the elements from 0 to 1000 so we can list the elements as 0 1 2 3 4 dot 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 till 1000 
the dots are showing us the continuation from the number 4 up till 1000. So again set B in tabular form all the elements are listed within the curly bracket and are separated by comma. Set C is a set of days starting with the letter T. So when we are writing in tabular form we will actually write the name of the days that are starting with T. That are Tuesday and Thursday. Again these elements are written within the curly bracket and are separated by comma. So when we write a set in tabular form we list the elements within the curly bracket and separate each element by a comma. Students, now we will discuss the set builder form which is also known as the rule form. In set builder form, the set is represented by describing the common characteristics of all members using symbols. So when we write our set in set builder form, we simply describe the set by using symbols. Some of the important symbols we need to memorize are such that, belongs to, greater than, less than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, and, or, is equal to, is not equal to. Students, all these symbols will be required to write our set in set builder form. Now, for example, the first set we have here is set A, which is a set of natural numbers up to 6. It is a set of first 6 natural numbers. Now, if we have to write the set in set builder form, we will write it as Set A is a set which contains X elements. Now this X represents the elements of the set A. That is a set of natural numbers. So X here is representing the elements of the set. So X is such that X belongs to natural numbers. These elements are belonging to natural numbers. Now students, the part that is before the comma is showing us that what the set is belonging to. Now over here in set A, X is such that X belongs to natural numbers. So if the set belongs to prime numbers, we will write X is such that X belongs to P, that is prime numbers. If the set belongs to even numbers, we will write x is such that x belongs to e, that is even numbers. So the part that is before the comma will express the set as to what the set belongs to. Now these natural numbers are till 6, that is they are less than 7. So we can write it here, x is less than 7. Again, we will read the set from the beginning. Set A is a set which contains X elements. X is such that X belongs to natural numbers. And X is less than 7. Now students, we can also write the set A as Set A is a set of natural numbers less than or equal to 6. So in set builder form, the first part will remain the same that is before the comma. That is set A is a set which contains X element. X is such that X belongs to natural numbers. X is less than or equal to 6. When we put the equal to sign below the less than, it means that we are writing the last number, the last element of the given set. Because the set is equal to 6. 
set A is a set of natural numbers less than or equal to 6. So in set builder form, x is such that x belongs to natural numbers, x is less than or equal to 6. Now students, here is a second example for our set builder form. Now here we have set B, the set of integers that are greater than minus 5 or equal to minus 5. The set of integers less than or equal to plus 5. Now negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4 and negative 5 all these integers are greater than minus 6. And plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5 all these positive integers are less than plus 6. Now when we are writing the set in set builder form the part that is before the comma will be written exactly the same as we have discussed earlier x is such that x belongs to integers this is a set of integers so we will write the set b as b is a set which contains x elements x is such that x belongs to integers now after the comma part there is a slight change now from here we will read the set from the center that is x now from the center we will read the set towards the left direction. X is greater than or equal to minus 5. Then we will read it from the right direction. X is less than or equal to plus 5. Now you must be wondering why both these symbols are same. Now remember I have told you that after the comma we are reading the set from the center and towards the left direction. Now when we are pointing towards the left direction the arrow is facing in front which is indicating the greater sign which is representing the greater sign and from the right when we read from the right direction the arrow is facing towards the back direction. So here the arrow means less and here the arrow means greater than. So x is such that x belongs to integers. Then we will read from the center x is greater than or equal to minus 5. x is less than or equal to plus 5. To keep it simple the symbol that is before the x is greater than or equal to and the symbol that is after the x it is less than or equal to. Students, now let's review our work by comparing the, all the three forms in which we write our set. Descriptive form, tabular form and set builder notation. In descriptive form, we write a set by means of a statement. All these three sets, set A, B and C, under the descriptive form are written by means of a statement. In the tabular form, we write the set within the curly bracket and separate it by a comma. So all these three sets, A, B and C, are written in tabular form. In set builder notation, we write the set by using symbols. Set A, B and C are written in set builder notation by using symbols. Okay. Now, here we have the first set A. A is a set of natural numbers less than 10. Now, in tabular form, we have to write the natural numbers that are less than 10. Natural numbers start from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The last natural number will be 9 because 
the set says that we have to write set of natural numbers less than 10. So the last natural number would be 9. All these elements are listed within the curly bracket and separated by a comma. Now the same set we will write in set builder notation. The part before the comma we will write here to what the set belongs to. Set A is a set which contains x element. X is such that X belongs to natural numbers. This is a set of natural numbers. Now, natural numbers are less than 10. So we will write here X is less than 10. Again, set A is a set which contains X elements. X is such that X belongs to natural numbers. And X is less than 10. Okay, second example we have set B is a set of even numbers less than or equal to 8. When we use the words less than or equal to 8, it means we have to write our set of even numbers only till 8, equal to 8, not more than 8, not less than 8. So what are the even numbers equal to 8? In tabular form, we will list the elements 2, 4, 6 and 8. We will write the elements within the curly bracket and separate it by a comma. Now in set build notation, first we will write to what the set belongs to. Set B is a set which contains X elements. X is such that X belongs to even numbers. This is a set of even numbers. Now even numbers are less than or equal to 8. So we will mention here x is less than or equal to 8. So b is a set which contains x element. x is such that x belongs to even numbers. x is less than or equal to 8. Now set c. Set of whole numbers greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 5. Greater than or equal to 0 means we have to start our whole numbers from 0. And less than or equal to 5 means we have to stop at 5 because our whole numbers are equal to 5. So in tabular form we will write our whole numbers greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 5. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 within the curly bracket and separate by a Comma. Now, in set builder notation, when the words greater than or equal to and less than or equal to are written, we write the set in this form. X is such that X belongs to whole numbers. This is a set of whole numbers. So, X is such that X belongs to whole numbers. Now, since the word greater than or equal to and less than or equal to are used, so we will write a set like this. We will read from the center, x is greater than or equal to 0, x is less than or equal to 5. Again, set C is a set which contains x element. x is such that x belongs to whole numbers. x is greater than or equal to 0, x is less than or equal to 5. 